Hey guys, Sophia here with Turquoise Toffee and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about my predictions for the 2024 Olympia, all the women's events. We've got women's bodybuilding, women's physique, figure, fitness, wellness, and bikini. This is the one you've been waiting for and I cannot wait to read all your comments. I think you'll agree with me on a lot of my picks, but I've certainly left off a few people that I expect you guys will not like, or maybe you'll love it and you'll agree with some of my wild cards. Um, and because there's so many beautiful athletes, I figured we should start by reintroducing everyone, going through the list, and just taking a look at all of these amazing competitors. So beginning with bikini, there were 55 athletes on the list. So exciting. There was Xin Yi, Valeria, Wu, Jordan, Jennifer. However, she has announced on her Instagram that she is not competing. So that leaves a big opening in the bikini division for a new winner this year. Maureen, Ashley, Luciana, Chan Yu, Alice, Brittany, Priscilla, Ariana, Uyanga, Natea, Jackie, Laura Lee, Vanya, Alexandra, Amy, Sarah, Otavia, Brittany, Angelica, Cheoxian, Daye, Francesca, Isa, Maria, Tara, Lisa, Maxine, Kate, Antonia, Raina, Stina, C, Jody, Rihanna, Ivana, Ligia, Jasmine, Ashlyn, Saul, Rukia, Alice, Jessica, Tamekia, Jordan, Adair, Wenjun, Yulia, Anna, Ashley, and Adriana. Wow, so many beautiful athletes. I'm sure you guys have your picks already. Okay, as far as my top picks for bikini, I don't think anybody is going to be surprised by this. I think this top five is pretty solid. Maureen, Ashley, Laura Lee, Amy, and Issa. They're all spectacular. Ashley has had so many wins this year. She's going for 50. Amy is another who is always at the top. She's got such an amazing physique. Maureen is a previous winner. She was so close to Jennifer last year. With Jennifer gone, you would presume that she could retake her title. But then you've got Laura Lee. She did so well at the Arnold. She was perfect. The conditioning was there. Her proportions, her posing is angelic. She's absolutely gorgeous on stage. And we know that if she can come in perfect like she did at the Arnold, then it could be hers. I believe this is going to be her year. I, I would really love to see her win. She hasn't been a Miss Olympia yet. And what a year it would be. I do think it is the year of Laura Lee and that it's going to be hers. But you can't rule out Ashley. You can't rule out Maureen. You can't rule out rule out Amy. And I mean, even Issa, she's a, a prior champ as well. And she's looking phenomenal lately. So it's going to be so exciting, this top five in particular. But I'm going to give it to Laura Lee. And then in terms of like a bit of a wild card, perhaps, who I think is going to round out the top six. I'm going to say Maria. I just think she's had a great year. I think she's got a beautiful physique. And I think she would look really good in this group. Now, because there's so many competitors, I'm giving you a whole bunch more. So in terms of rounding out the top, I see Angelica, Vanya, Tara, Rihanna, Ivy, Ashlyn, Jordan, Jasmine, Alice, and Kate all coming in in that top 16. Um, I think there's a few people I probably left off this list, and I'm waiting for the comment section to see who you guys think should be here. But... Um, you know, I think all of these women have had a great track record all year. Kate in particular is someone that I'm really watching carefully. I just think she looked phenomenal and she could really kind of steal the show and absolutely make it into this top. So very exciting in the bikini division. 
All right, moving on to wellness. We had 37 competitors added to the list. So exciting. Victoria, Lisa, Denora, Lily, Franciel, Isabel, Elisa, Giselle, Alicia, Hyun, Tiffany Sam, Sandra, Marcella, Leonida, Bruna, Jennifer, Yanni, Emily, Jade, Marissa, Jen Key, Valkyria, Alexis, Esmeralda, Natasha, Danae, Narla, Juliana, Jenna, Daniela, Sunny, Danielle, Eduarda, Jasmine, Cassandra, Jacqueline, and Camille. So beautiful. My gosh, looking at everyone in a row like that really is astonishing. But in terms of my top predictions, again, I don't think this is a stretch whatsoever. I basically have the same as last year. We've got Francielle, Isabel, Hiani, Giselle, and Elisa. I think all of these women will maintain their top positions. The order might switch around a bit, but I think at the end of the day, this is your top. Now, in terms of Francielli and Isabel, I know the scoring was so close last year, but I was actually there. I was in the audience. I watched every second of prejudging, judging. I saw up close and personal. I got selfies with some of these athletes, and I have to say, Francielli's stage presence is is exceptional. She just floats, she glides, she just has, she's magnetic. And at the end of the day, when the physiques are all so good, I think her stage presence puts her in another level of perfection. So I'm going to predict that she's going to keep her win. It will be close. Um, I think everybody is just really leveling up, but I still think she is um, just, you know, essentially unbeatable and she's absolutely gorgeous now in terms of my pick for who's going to come in and complete the top six maybe this is a surprise maybe not comment below i'm putting lisa i think she has an absolutely phenomenal physique gorgeous conditioning she really commands the stage you always look at her in the lineup photos first and i would love to see her in this top six and i think she could do it now, in terms of rounding out the top 10, okay, Marissa, Leonida, Cassandra, and Tiffany Sam. These are all, I think, shoe-ins. Everybody is wonderful. We've seen um, some gorgeous photos of these ladies, and it, it's, it's not a very... Um, wild prediction to think that they're going to do well. But I do suspect that Marissa is going to move even higher in the ranks than she did last year, potentially even into the top six. I would love to see it, but certainly, absolutely, she's going to be in that top 10. Now, in terms of a wild card, I actually have Bruna. I think she just looks beautiful. She's had a great year. She could very, very, very easily fit in in this top group of athletes and I would love to see where she falls and I think it will be in the top 16 for sure and potentially even in the top 10. All right fitness we've got 14 competitors beginning with Amy Okay, Oksana, our winner from last year, I don't know that she's officially said she's not competing, but she is quite pregnant, and I'm presuming that she's not. If anybody could win a fitness competition while pregnant, it would be Oksana, but I'm just making a presumption here that she's not going to be uh, doing it this year. Uh, next, we've got Taylor, Jacqueline, Michelle, Ariel is another athlete who unfortunately won't be competing. She has an injury and she announced on her uh, Instagram not that long ago that she won't be able to make it. So that also leaves a very big opening. She's a top competitor. Wow. Um, crazy. Next, Allison, Cerise, Michelle, Tamara, Amber, Missy, Stephanie, and Michaela. 
amazing athletes. What this is going to be so exciting, especially with the way fitness was last year and with these um, a few athletes not competing. So my top three, I don't think this is surprising to anybody. I've got Missy, Taylor, and Jacqueline. Now, you guys all remember last year, Missy, the devastating uh, injury she sustained during the routine on stage. It was it was gutting. Oh, my gosh. Um, but she is a machine, and she's coming back. And if anybody can make a comeback after an extreme injury, it's going to be Missy. So we know her physique is going to be exceptional. She'll likely win the physique round, and it'll come down to the routine. Can the routine beat Taylor? I don't know. I think Taylor's routines are exceptional. She is so spectacular, her skills, her strength, her height, her power, her flexibility, um, and particularly because she doesn't have any injuries or anything that could hold her back from really doing the most amazing routine. Um, And she has a great physique too. She's not going to be the largest girl on stage, but she's got a beautiful shape. So at the end of the day, the routine is worth more. So even though Missy, Jacqueline, they might have larger, um, (laughs) you know, higher scoring physiques than Taylor, she could still win it simply because her routine is going to be so amazing. But we can't sleep on Jacqueline because Jacqueline has a phenomenal physique and she has really good routines. So when you combine the scores together, she could absolutely come extremely high. But I do think at the end of the day, coming down between first and second, it will be between Missy and Taylor. Um, And it'll all depend on how well Missy can execute a killer routine. My fingers are crossed for her. I hope she can do it. I hope she's feeling amazing. But I would have to give Taylor a really good chance at the win this year. It is so exciting. Fitness is always insanely exciting. And then as for a wild card, I think Allison could do extremely well. Her V-taper always impresses me, and she has beautiful routines also. Uh, I don't think top three when you've got (laughs) Missy, Taylor, and Jacqueline, but she could certainly crack the top five. Okay, figure. Here we go. We had 27 competitors. Jennifer, Christine, Adela, Sydney, Jessica, Lola, Teresa, Shanice, Christina, Wendy, Tessa, Megan, Natalia, Rejoice, Maria, Madison, Lena, Nadine, Erica, Cherish, Manon, Leticia, Yanena, Rhea, Elizabeth, Tamara, and Sarah. Okay, again, I don't think I'm going to cause any ripples here in the water. My top three, I've got Sydney, Jessica, and Lola. These women are unreal. Sydney is another athlete whose stage presence is just gorgeous. Her posing, her fluidity, her gracefulness. She really has the most beautiful presence. Jessica, I love that she competes throughout the year and allows us to see her physique. We see improvements. We see how good she is. And I would love if Jessica were able to finally get her Olympia win. I think it would be so exciting, but it's also extremely exciting to think that Sydney could get get it again. Lola, her conditioning, her shape, her overall look is so good. She is absolutely going to be in this top three. I don't have any doubts about it, but I think what could bring her up or down in terms of the position will be her posing and her overall stage presence. I think as long as she can keep it together and just have a beautiful flowy routine with a little personality, absolutely, then yeah, she is going to be amazing. So I believe this is our top three. Will it be Sydney? Will it be Jessica? Will it be Lola? I think that depends a lot on 
the stage presence, the posing, and of course conditioning. We know that these women all have the shape the judges are looking for. But if you want me to choose my winner, oh my gosh, I would love to see Jessica take it. I think it would be great to have a new uh, winner in figure, to have a bit of a battle between Sydney and Jessica. I think her physique is amazing, but... Hmm, We haven't seen Sydney. We don't know what improvements she's made. It'll be really awesome to see them side by side. And if everybody were exactly on point, when you add in the stage presence, the hair, the flow, the the whole vibe, then then it's still going to go to Sydney. So that's kind of not really an answer. I would love to see Jessica win, but I, I guess at the end of the day, I think Sydney still has everything that you need to be the Miss Olympia. Now, to finish off the top positions, I've got Jennifer, Lena, Megan, and Natalia. Beautiful blondes. They all look amazing. Um, We've seen some gorgeous top fives with all of these ladies this year. And um, I just think that they're going to make some waves. In terms of a wild card is Tessa. Uh, You know, when I put the pictures of all the athletes side by side and really compared her physique stands out. She's got such amazing legs, beautiful silhouette, and I would love to see her in a really good high top spot. All right, women's physique. We've got 19 competitors, Sarah, Natalia, Elisama, Raluca, Andrea, Anne, Marianne, Marika, Natalie, Sharonica, Natalia, Susan, Tracy, Sandra, Caroline, Anna, Jeanette, Jody, and Barbara. Amazing. So impressive. Uh, Top three, I don't think will be different from last year. I think this is very predictable. We're going to have Sarah and Natalia battling it out again for first place with Elisama in third. Her legs really are (laughs) exceptional. Um, But it'll come down again to Sarah and Natalia and just what the judges are going to be really, really looking for, whether they're wanting a tiny bit more sharpness and, uh, you know, that edgy, straight, really clear definition like we get on Sarah, or if they want a little bit more of the curviness that you see on Natalia, of course, with conditioning as well. But, you know, it's so hard to predict. You don't know. It goes back and forth between them. I hope that Natalia can regain her title. I personally love all the curves. I love the roundness you see. But Sarah's conditioning is absolutely stunning. And she is such an amazing athlete. So I I would love, I just want to see them side by side. And then I'm very curious what the judges are going to go for. If you're forcing me to pick a winner, I'm going to say I think Natalia is going to bring it. I think she's got the beautiful shape. And I think whatever her feedback was last year, she's going to be doing it. And it's going to be her win. Um, but but I don't think it's going to be easy. If anybody can keep the title, Sarah could keep it. So it's going to be exciting. And then I'm rounding out my top four with Barbara. She, she just did amazing at the Europa and I think she's going to ride that and, and we're going to see her looking phenomenal. Now to finish off my top picks, I've got Raluca, Jeanette, Anna, and Susan. I think all of these women are going to do great. Definitely top 10. Beautiful physiques, great conditioning, and size. I really notice the V tapers and the width into the lats on these athletes in particular. And as far as a wild card is concerned, I'm very curious how Sharonica is going to do, particularly because of her overall silhouette. I love how wide her upper body is. I'd love to see where she is in in terms of this top could she break into the top 10 maybe i i think i think it could happen so she's a bit of a wild card but definitely very exciting to see how the lineup is going to go and now finally miss olympia our women's bodybuilding we have andrea angela alcyon levina 
Teresa, Julia, Ashley, Ava, Nadia, Hella, Anastasia, Michaela, Sherry, Christina, and Alida. <sighs> wow, these women are really impressive, <laughs> all of them. But of course, it's going to come down to our top two. Andrea and Angela. Andrea is the reigning champion. However, Angela just came out with a win at the Rising Phoenix uh, just a, a mere weeks ago. So we know that Angela has exactly what the judges are looking for. We've seen her so extremely peeled. The conditioning is crazy. Her size is gorgeous. But I mean, come on, Andrea is the champ. We know that Andrea is capable of a win and she's beaten Angela in the past. So I think that whatever it was that caused Andrea to to lose to Angela at the Rising Phoenix. She will have gotten her feedback and I think she's going to fix it. Whatever it was, whether it was conditioning or posing or who knows, whatever it was that she needs to be, she's going to do it. And I think that she will continue to be our Miss Olympia. But I think Angela is an absolutely phenomenal competitor. In real life, she's jaw-dropping the conditioning her shape her posing is so cool uh, I, I think it'll be such a great battle between the two of them the pictures are going to be phenomenal but good luck to Angela I think it's going to be really awesome and then rounding out my top picks, I've got Ashley, Alcyon, Anastasia, and Sherry. I think these ladies in particular are going to really narrow in on the third, fourth, you know, the, the, the top six. It's going to be really cool. I think the tiny waistlines, the really round legs, and a nice wide lat spread is really going to be important obviously you got to have that x shape and i think all of these ladies have it as well as beautiful conditioning so very excited to see where everyone's going to fall and then in terms of a wild card i'm picking two so we haven't seen hella in a long time i'm really curious where she's going to fall she typically does extremely well at Olympia, but we don't know where she is in comparison to these ladies. So she's a bit of a wild card. She could swoop in unexpectedly or expectedly, I suppose. And then Michaela is someone that we've seen so many times in the top five. I don't know that she's going to crack top six this year, but I think she's going to do really well. She'll definitely be in the running for a top position. But again, it's really going to be that battle between first and second. All right, guys, those are my predictions. I've got more recaps from last weekend, and there are more shows coming up this weekend, already into next year's qualification period. So make sure you subscribe. I'll be back with those as soon as I can. Give me a like if you like this video, and I cannot wait for your comments. Let me know what you think. Who am I right about? Who am I completely wrong about? If you've heard any other news of athletes not competing, let me know in the comments. I can't wait to see. You can come find me on Instagram at turquoise toffee.